so uh i'm just gonna check my work email before i um like get ready so this is something i often do is i'll just take a quick peek at my work email and see what's going on um and just make sure i'm not like missing anything or that nothing's come up so behind the scenes of my glamorous life so the only change in my work emails is that a project that i thought was due today has been pushed back uh, until tuesday which that's great <laughs> so i'm just going to put on some pjs and we're gonna put on some makeup So I normally use the Clarins Extra Comfort Toning Lotion, um, but they didn't have it at Shoppers, and the lady at Shoppers thought it was gone. So I picked up this hydrated one from La Roche Posay, which is okay. You can see they definitely had mascara on last night. And lately I've been really enjoying my Aveda Cherry Almond Leave-In Conditioner. a generous amount because I have a lot of hair and then I basically just coat it all the way down and I kind of pay special attention to the ends do you guys ever find it takes your voice a little bit in the morning to like get going so I never film videos in the morning but I wanted to do a vlog of my day which involves the morning so then I just brush it out with my tangle teaser. So I'm going to start with my skincare with my Ceramized Multipeptide Complete Serum. So this was gifted to me by the brand and it's actually kind of a cool story. So the uh, CEO of the company lives in my building and she was in the lobby one day um, while I was chatting with the concierge about some PR products I got in. And uh, so she was like, let's chat. So we went for a nice walk a couple weeks ago when we were in the portal lockdown. And uh, she gifted me some product. And cool thing about her brand, uh, they were actually in the add-ons of FabFitFun in the last, uh, the last one. So it was really cool to chat with her and like learn a little bit about that process. So I've only been using her products for about a week. So I don't have like a conclusion. But so far they seem really nice. Uh, now I'm gonna use my Belief uh, True Cream Moisturizing Balm. You see all my lighting behind me? <laughs> because my apartment is so small, uh, the place I actually get ready, um, I just flip my chair around to fill in the room. Okay, so today I'm going for a lighter look, so I'm just gonna use my Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. And I just sort of squeeze some on the top of my hand. And then I like to just kind of dot it around my face. And then I've just been working on using up the very last bits of my Benefit Bowling Airbrush Concealer. This might be one that's last. But I like to put this on my eyelid. You know, I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments. Like, I know that we've got uh, people from across Canada, people in the States, lots of people from South Asia. Like, I know we've got people from all over the world watching, which is kind of crazy, like, for me to think about. Um, but, like, really cool. But I would love to hear down below, like, what are the restrictions that are you're experiencing in your community? Uh, if you're from New Zealand, you are so lucky. Because uh, I know you feel like I completely understand why this is happening and it's obviously an awful, awful disease and it's, you know, it comes from our grandparents, right? So I, I totally get why these restrictions are in place, but I also think that it's just good and healthy to talk about it and talk about how we're feeling and what's hard for us. And, you know, I know for me, like, you know, there has been, there has been some good things about a lock, about a lockdown or I'm not, you know. There has been some silver lining. Um, um, so I'm just gonna tight line and do mascara. You know, I've been able to spend um, tons of time with my husband and cats and just like, you know, lots of quality time together. Um, 
but you know, it just sucks. Like you can't really do anything, go anywhere, or you know, and so many people are suffering, but like it just, it just sucks. Um, you know what, I'm gonna add a little bit more makeup. You guys really like this palette. Uh, this is the Instant Lip in a Palette Gorgeous Glowing Beauty from Charlotte Tilbury from her holiday collection last year. And uh, I got tons of compliments. So I'm just gonna, it's really cool because I got like three eyeshadows, two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlight. And the eyeshadow is just like really nice. Okay. But yeah, it's just, it just sucks and I think it's good for us to talk about like what's hard about it and you know for me like I'm a really social person like I love seeing friends and like connecting with people and you know for my job like pre-covid I spent tons of time like entertaining clients and prospective clients like I spent tons and tons of time like just I used to joke that I was like a pay, like I was just paid to eat lunch, and I mean there there was more to it, but I just I used to joke that lunch was my job, and I would just go to restaurants like every day for work, like what would pay for you know every day, but like pretty often, you know, and it was just it was like super fun, and then it's like the most fun part of my job just disappeared. This one's also really nice. It's like 38 bucks at Sephora. Um, however, however, I got it as one of my options in my FabFitFun box. And I've been actually really enjoying it. I promise like, I think I've mentioned FabFitFun like three times in this video and this is like not even a video about FabFitFun. Yeah, I'm sorry for my ramblings. I I'm just I think people are just dealing with it in different ways, you know. And and for me, it's like I found the first lockdown way easier to deal with. Um, I think because there was still hope that they like, you know, when the first lockdown happened, it was sort of like, okay, like we're doing this so we can have Christmas. And you know, we're not we're not gonna have a normal Christmas. And it just, it just really sucks. You know, and one of my grandmas uh, lives with my parents. So, you know, at least like she's doing okay. But my other grandma lives in a seniors facility. And like that sucks. Um, you know, cause we really can't go see her. And lipstick. You know what, let's, let's have some fun. Let's put on my Hermes lipstick. This one is so pretty and I just love all putting it. Okay, so I thought I was going for a lighter look today. And this all happened. And you know what? This kind of happens to me sometimes. And then I'm just going to add a pop of my Clarins Instant Light Lip Gloss just to keep it a little softer. So we're gonna use my Dyson Airwrap. I am working on a uh, full video for you guys on this tool. Um, so stay tuned, that is gonna be coming in vlogmas. And so now I just a little bit of hairspray. And those curls will sort of fall. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off while I do the side because I wanna actually vlog my day. Like you guys get beauty content all the time. And there is our hair for the day. Now with the Dyson Air Wrap, the curls do fall. So it'll just sort of become like a pretty wavy look. But 
that's there. So uh, today we have our cleaners coming, so we have to leave the apartment. So I'm ready enough. I'm gonna bring my computer. I have some work to do. And then I was also actually planning on driving up to Cross Border Pickups in Markham, which is, oh, look, look at Maggie, look at her. Um, which is basically like a US shipping address that I have. It ships to, the, uh, to New York State and then they drive it up and it makes it really affordable to uh, get things from the US. So that's kind of my plan today and we've got some work, but for Vlogmas, I did want to include a couple of actual vlogs. So we have driven up to Richmond Hill, which is where my cross-border pickup location is. On the way up, as you saw, we had some A&W. Um, I just did a little bit of work from the car, just reviewing some documents. So cross-border pickup opens in like half an hour, but we just figured might as well just drive up and sit in the car because we can't really be in our apartment while it's being cleaned. But I'm excited to show you what I'm getting from cross-border pickups. Nine more minutes until cross-border pickups opens. And we're both like super tired. <laughs> we didn't really sleep very well last night. So we're just kind of napping in the car with the heat on. Do you have a comment, my love? No. Do you love vlogging? No. Do you want to be a famous YouTube vlogging couple? Oh God, oh, that sounds awful. Who makes all of our money by putting our lives on the internet? For everyone to see everything we do. There are people who do that, don't they? Yes. Do you want to be those people? No, I don't want to be those people. We could have children and then they could like just be props. I'll just I'll leave how unethical <laughs> that is. Just you can contemplate that yourself. I would say that my husband supports that I have a YouTube channel, but prefers that it's just me. What would you say? Look, I'll be honest. Yeah, I thought it was dumb until you got us our trip to uh, Bora Bora, but it's it's pretty sweet. Look at that support. So, in the back, we have um, some packages that are going to my cousins for Christmas or my parents, and we have our red wagon. We love our wagon. I'm like literally lying down the car, so it's like right above me. Um, our wagon is necessary because it really helps living in an apartment, like getting like, stuff out of your car uh, and into your car. And then we have our cat fountain that uh, was actually, our cats loved drinking from, but the spout was like filled with mildew. And then it was giving one of our cats, because it was plastic, uh, chin acne. Want to comment on the chin acne? What? No. <laughs> our, one of our cats was having acne. God, just... <laughs> Now imagine if is, we did that about children. Is this children. over yet? Why isn't this <laughs> over yet? Okay, but imagine if we did that about our children. <sighs> Think about all the views. <sighs> I'm so glad you have a hobby. <laughs> oh my god. We have been discussing ordering some food in tonight. To support small businesses. Yeah, cause, yeah that's, that's exactly why you want to do it. Because you're not lazy. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm lazy and hungry, okay? But cross border pickups right, open. Your thing's soon. open. Go, Is it go, open? Go, go do your thing. So I'm just waiting inside, and one of the other customers inside was super rude. I like open the door because it says only three people can be in, and so it looks like there's just two. And then there's a guy like in the back corner, and he like shoved his hand out like, oh. it's like okay, dude. I couldn't see. Like, I'm not trying to spread COVID to you. Like. I, just, I really hate when people, like, I don't know if you guys have ever encountered someone, like, shoving their hand out like that. And it's like, I feel like you could just say, oh, hey, there's already three people, or hey, there's a limit of three. Like, on the door, it says that there's a limit of three. And when you look in the window, it looks like there's just two people. Anyways, I just think that there's a lot of cases where people could be a little nicer, you know? Also, like, I open my door and also, like, I just opened the door and peeked my head in. It's not like I barged in. Like, I don't know. I just thought that that was a rather aggressive response. Like, I don't know, guys. With COVID, like, just, just be nice. Like, just assume that people aren't trying to break the rules. Like, just say, hey, excuse me. You know, there's already three people or there's a limit of three. 
I, I think most people are reasonable, but. So I have my three packages and I'll tell you about what they are in the car. So my parents ordered some heated blankets uh, that my mom saw that only shipped to the US and then I have some makeup and I have a Christmas gift for me that I'm gonna open and wrap for myself. So I just finished up at Shoppers and they actually had a Christmas gift that my grandma wanted to get for Stuart. Um, and I went to like three or four different shoppers maybe a month ago to find this item. It's ugh, this massive thing of hot sauce. And grandma saw it in the, uh, like the shoppers catalog. And so she wanted to get it for him, but she obviously doesn't feel comfortable leaving the house. So, and I'm, I'm happy to like do all her shopping. And uh, so I was just at shoppers cause I needed to get uh, a couple of things. And then I just saw it there, which is amazing. So I'm gonna wrap that up for Stuart, but it's me from grandma. So while the cleaner is finishing up, we're just hanging out in the lounge area in our building. Aren't you happy to be here? <laughs> um, so we're just doing a little bit more work on our computers because work from home means work anywhere. So we have ordered from Cactus Club for dinner tonight and our food just got here and Winston decided that I was an ideal thing to sit on. So one thing that's happened since the pandemic, fix that, is uh, that food is now left at concierge. They don't like delivery people up. So here I am, picking up my dinner. Hey guys, so sorry today really has not been the most interesting or the craziest makeup. But this is kind of my makeup on an everyday, especially if I'm not filming, um, and especially working from home. And I'm really cold right now, so I'm gonna have a bath. And uh, yeah, but you know what? I wanted to bring you guys to Cross Border Pickups. I hope you see what a useful service it is for Canadians. It gives you a address in New York State where you can, I'm just gonna use my hand. It gives you an address in New York State where you can send items to to get like that free US shipping or US only brands or products or whatever. They move across the border and depending on the size of the, of the box, like of your package, that's how much you pay. I typically pay about $10 a package for like normal size like makeup and like weighted blankets and stuff. But anyways, yeah. So I'm gonna have a bath. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put in it. We did order from one of my favorite restaurants, Cactus Club, for dinner tonight. And yeah, I'm gonna take my makeup off, have a bath, and just have a relaxing night. So that's the plan. And uh, and then I'm just gonna go to bed. Kind of boring, but honestly, working from home, I found lately has been really exhausting just because there's so many Zoom calls and it's just like back to back and it's just so much screen time and I just kind of find it draining. I don't know if anyone else is feeling that way, uh, but I definitely found this morning, I was beat, like it's Friday, I was just beat. Um, took me a little bit to like get going. But I just wanted to show you like an honest, raw Friday working from home. Um, I didn't really show you the part where I like did work um, because gonna go grab one thing yeah I just didn't want to include the part where I actually like did work because um, that's just not like acceptable at my work
and I just know that my clients, colleagues, and bosses would not appreciate that. So I can't really show you the work, but I mean, like, I was on Zoom calls, I answered emails, I did some of them in the party room, I did some of them up here. Anyways, let's take my makeup off and make my bath. So this is the Lush Snow Fairy Bath Bomb. So I know this is like not the most flattering angle, but it's the best I can do fitting both my hands. So I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup Remover just to uh, remove all the makeup on my face. I'm just going to put my hair up in a bun though. And yes, I know this is like the world's least flattering lighting and angle, but... Don't want to get my hair wet. So this is what it looks like. Kind of newer to me product. And basically I'm just going to take my rings off. And then what you used to do is like rub this all over your face and then use some water once you get into the bath. And this is just a really gentle way to remove my makeup. I definitely like to work into my lashes a little bit on that mascara. So I'm going to watch some YouTube during my bath and just relax and unwind and enjoy. So this is the last uh, you're going to see me for today. I'll be back tomorrow. I think tomorrow is going to be a gift guide. So uh, let's find out when you haven't already. Please enter my Vlogmas giveaway. Talk to you guys later. Bye.